Did you know that less than 1% of people are naturally extraordinarily gifted at something? Think genius, think savant. Do you know what that means for us, the other 99 plus percent of people? If we're going to do anything great in this life, it is going to require discipline. That's the truth. If you are going to accomplish anything extraordinary with the days on this planet, it is going to require you pushing through the discomfort and embracing the grind and disciplining yourself. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. You got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices. They wake up and make another bad choice. They make another bad choice. Now they got a habit of bad choices. And they like, how do I get here? Choices. How do I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The cause of laziness is a craving for comfort. It's wanting comfort ultimately. Your problem is not laziness. It's the worship of comfort which produces laziness. It's that I don't want to do anything that I don't want to do. It's believing this lie that if it doesn't come completely natural to me, if it's not easy, then I shouldn't have to do it or maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. You can lie to yourself and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself everything's okay and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself, you can lie to yourself and say that you're winning and then you don't need discipline. But if you tell yourself the truth, if you tell yourself the truth that you know you could be better, you know you could do more, if you tell yourself the truth, you won't have to find discipline. Discipline will find you. The greatest version of you is not the I can do anything version of you. The greatest version of you is the disciplined version of you. The greatest version of you is the version that has parameters. No, I don't do that. I don't drink that. I don't go there with these people. I'm focused. I have a prize that's in front of me. I know what I'm supposed to do and that ain't it. I have to stay right here. You can become godly through discipline, not easy, not just because you feel like it, that sometimes you have to honor the grind. There's got to be some type of discipline attached to whatever you want deliverance in. And what I'm telling you is the battle never changes. Every day, you have to get self-control. You've got to begin to think about the things you want to materialize in your life on a regular basis and think about it repetitiously. Literally, the things that we obsess about become the things that we possess in our lives. Your mind is a weapon and you got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. Most people are out of control with their mind. They don't point it at something. They let the world point it and they miss fire all the time. So today, I want you to pick up that weapon that is your mind and begin to point it at the things you want. Becoming successful is a situation of developing discipline, persistence, patience, grit, character traits that you don't just get you are not f***ing born with it's going to come down to you developing the ability to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know that it's the right thing to f***ing do so often we want to blame circumstances for the way things are we want to blame genetics for the reason we're kind of fat we got all these problems but might i suggest the problem is the pattern of your response but you can't change the product if you don't change the pattern. You can't change the way your career's going if you don't start changing your work ethic and your work habits and your inner relations. You can't change your wisdom unless you change your input. So the problem is the pattern. Whatever's going on is your fault. It is your fault. Accept that, own it, and then deal with it. Every decision that you make has consequences. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts.
And most people will not be successful. They will not reach whatever they wrote because when there's not anything emotionally attached to it, they're going to quit and give up. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing it. Or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad, but they don't know if they want to keep going and get to go. Because you're going to wake up most days and not feel like it. You're going to wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're going to wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. You are not where you want to be, not because you need any more gifts. You don't need nothing else. You need to discipline yourself. You need to learn to tell you no. You keep talking about everybody else you can't tell no. You can't tell you no. You can't tell you stop. You can't tell you quit. You got to get to a point where you're disciplined. It's a muscle. The mind is a muscle. Emotion is a muscle. I don't negotiate with myself. Well, maybe I'll we'll do it tomorrow. I'm going to do this. Or oh, let me wait two more minutes till I'm ready. There's none of that shit with me. For decades, I go, I say what you do. I'm not here to discuss this shit with my mind. There's mind, and then there's soul and spirit. And soul and spirit, my soul fucking knows. And when I say jump, you fucking jump. I'm not here to have a discussion with you. But you have to take control and train this brain. If you don't train this brain, it'll use you instead of you using it. Everyone wants some life hack that eliminates the need to do the work, but that does not exist. You have to do the work. You've got to hold the line. You've got to make it happen. What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? I say you crank up the volume on that question. Max it out. And then go do some. People who win can do sh and people who lose talk sh you can win if you choose to learn the things that you need to do and then can do them. That's reality. That's the sh nobody wants to admit because admitting so means that you have to take responsibility for where you are currently. And you have to say, I am where I am currently because I didn't do X, Y, and Z. And guess what? That fucking hurts a little bit. But once you accept that truth, you are able to then move forward with the actions required to get you to where you want to go. You have no business being average, but now you justify it. You come up with these great reasons why you can't get up at five. You have these great reasons of why you have to do everything, why you don't execute, why you don't finish, why you don't follow through, why you say you don't exercise and you do it for about 10 days and you quit. You've got an excuse for why you're average. I guarantee you, if you were humble enough, if you were hungry enough, if you really wanted what you said, you'd sit down and you'd study what you do and you'd say, I can do this better. But I have not exhausted all my time. I have not exhausted all my resources. There's something missing. You're not where you're supposed to be. It's not going to take a lot, but it's a small gap. And the gap is called execution. If you want to execute just a little bit more, you'll be on a whole other level. You have to master the monotonous. It's the boring sh It's the everyday sh It's the regular sh It means doing the sh that most people are too fucking undisciplined to do day in and day out with perfection. Doing it better than everybody else. Doing it to the best of your ability. You have to remind yourself that these little things that you do are going to lead to the big things. Are you going to do your workout or are you not? Are you going to do your cardio or are you not? You think things are going to just go your way? Well, they're not going to just go your way. You got to make them go your way. You think things are going to just happen for you? Well, they're not just going to happen for you. You got to make them happen. Discipline your body. Free your mind. Get up early and go. Get after it and you will become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time.